In January 2022, a CBDC experiment has been conducted with the result that Red Belly is the fastest of its kind. It can process over 100,000 transactions per second and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. My name is Rick Richen and today we're going to talk about Red Belly Network. The Red Belly Network is a revolutionary open finance platform that embeds distributed ledger technology into the heart of financial relationships. It was born at the University of Sydney and say zero when Dr. Vincent Gramoli set out to see if he could build a fork proof blockchain. And because of this, efficiency is increased by eliminating information asymmetry. It's based on a novel leaderless consensus algorithm. In my videos, we always start with the why and in this video, it's no different. The problem that they see is their current blockchain limit accountability because they focus heavily on censorship resistance. This hinders their applicability to important high value financial relationships that require the enforcement of rights and obligations that cannot all be programmed. Double spending attacks can happen in classical blockchains and this is the case when two branches are discarded from the system. So there is by definition no proper way to detect a double spending attack or identify the participant responsible for the attack. The core business of the Red Belly network is accountability. This is being enforced on a protocol level by constructing undeniable proofs of fraud through a novel mechanism and on a functional level through an innovative identity layer that ensures that all network participants are known. Through standards based smart contract templates, real world financial relationships are deployed as Ricardian contracts on the Red Belly network, thereby benefiting from reduced information asymmetry, huge gains in efficiency, low and known transaction costs, as well as the accountability afforded by legal and regulatory enforcement that is required for any real world financial relationship. Which is a nice stepping stone to the next topic, which is solutions. A minute ago, I've told you about the problems Red Belly sees and now it's time to tell you about the solutions they are bringing to the table. They want to empower everyone with a more fair access to financial services and infrastructures. They want to do this by building a transparent, efficient and inclusive financial system. Rather than focusing on institutions, they want to focus on regular people like you and Meet. Now their DBFT consensus algorithm combined with polygraph ensures high performance, high security and accountability as well. Forking won't be an option and if someone would try to do so, an undeniably proof of fraud will be constructed. Now let's grab the word known and connect it to six different topics. That's what accountability model of Red Belly revolves around. These are known participants, known finality with performance and accountability, known costs, known data, known relationships and no means of exchange. Through their network of off-chain digital identity providers, all participants on the network are identified. Prospects need to prove their identity and create an account before they can join the network. The ZK SNARK based solution allows users to improve their identity without revealing any personal or sensitive information to the verifier. Their DBFT consensus algorithm allows a peak throughput of 600,000 transactions per second and it guarantees that no fork can occur and prevents the possibility of double spend. Speaking of spending, in order to facilitate high value real world financial relationships, transaction costs need to be known beforehand in order to give confidence and certainty to users and businesses. Thus, gas fees paid in the native Red Belly coin are kept stable against fiat currency terms despite possible price volatility of Red Belly coin. For any given transaction on the Red Belly network, the transaction costs will depend only on the complexity of the operations that need to be performed, which can easily be calculated ahead of time and the fixed fee component. The Red Belly network employs a first party oracle approach to obtain data directly from the source. It enables traditional Web 2.0 API providers to cheaply and easily run their own on-chain infrastructure that connects seamlessly to their API in an approach inspired by API 3's Ernode. Red Belly is also designed to natively support the deployment of Ricardian contracts where a hash of the full legal agreement is referenced in a smart contracts code to irrefutable link the real world relationship with the execution of a subset of its rights and obligations. 
Ricardian contracts benefit from the automation, efficiency and transparency of smart contracts, but also provide real world compliance and enforceability. Now there are known means of exchange is something I was very keen to read about in the white paper. The Red Belly Network will support transaction settlement in fiat currencies through a global payment gateway. And this payment gateway will support a marketplace of payment providers such as Swift, Visa, Mastercard and the MPP amongst others. And what's even better is that in the future they expect centrally backed digital currencies to be issued using the Red Belly infrastructure. And since I expect CBDC to be the next big thing, this would be huge for Red Belly. Now before we move on, please know that my friends over at SolarDAO are today's sponsor. They have successfully ran a private sale campaign for Red Belly and asked me to do this video for them. Check out the link to the Discord in the description down below. And if you join them, you'll be able to participate in future private sales yourself as well. Now make sure to do your own research before you do, but under these market circumstances, you'll never know what the next best thing is. And when we look at their core platform performance, they consist of ID Connect, Pay Connect, recording contracts and products. Redbelly's innovative identity gateway allows users to create a secure off-chain identity that can be verified for on-chain authentication purposes. It consists of three main components, a Redbelly compliant identity app installed on the user's mobile device, an identity smart contract, one per user, and a CK snark circuit that all interact with each other to confirm the user's identity without needing to reveal sensitive personal information to the requesting party. Identity registration is performed when the user is creating the Redbelly account on the Redbelly identity app. Identity verification is performed on an as needed basis with the user always in possession of their personal information, which it's good to know, especially since people are more and more keen on their privacy and want to know how companies cope with their data. The loss of private keys is one of the biggest user experience challenges facing many blockchains. And to mitigate this challenge, Redbelly generates a recovery key at user registration specifically for the purpose of account recovery. And the recovery key is sharded amongst several delegates chosen by the user. And these delegates serve as guardians for the user should they lose access to the device on which they registered their identity. And if the user's device is lost, they will perform account recovery through the Red Belly compliant identity app on a new device. Once a user has registered as an individual on the platform, they are able to add additional roles to their identity, including creating a multi-user account to which other registered users can be added. Multi-user accounts are useful for representing legal entities such as companies and trusts where multiple individuals are required to authorize the actions of the entity. Now Redbelly has a global payment gateway called Pay Connect, which is built directly into the protocol. This allows anyone to program payment obligations in fiat currency through a smart contract. Any dApp on the network can thus initialize payment flows on off-chain fiat payment rails, assuming that the relevant user authorizes the transaction. Now, the mechanism of Redbelly network that links deployed instance of smart contracts with a specific legal contract is being achieved with the native support of recording contracts. These are basically a combination of smart contracts with legal written contracts. And the two are linked together by a one-way function that generates a hash of the written legal agreement that is included in smart contract code and deployment. The Red Belly network is powered by the native Red Belly coin, which has a fixed supply of 10 billion. The coin is used in core parts of the network to power its crypto economic dynamics. These include transaction fees, staking, sharding, governance, and rewards and incentives. All activities can be found in the white paper with a category, a use case, and then a description of that use. And rather than reading all of them in this video, have a look at them for yourself. Now, one thing I do want to point out is the token distribution. Their team takes 10%, which is 1 billion tokens. that are being released after a year with a total period of 36 months. However, in the white paper, they state that these are subject to potential changes before the mainnet releases. Note that the ecosystem support, rewards and incentives and reserve allocations are not subject to a token release schedule. For example, 
Incentives can be rewards for node operators that will be able to offload their tokens as soon as they receive them. The rewards and incentive consist of a total of 30% of the total token supply. And the network effect acquisition and product adoption incentives take 1 billion. The node provision takes 1 billion and so does the Oracle provision. It might be worth mentioning that there are several key entities relevant to the governance of the Red Belly network. One of them is the Red Belly Network Governance DAO, which is a decentralized autonomous organization. It operates independently from the Red Belly Network PTI Limited. The Red Belly Network Governance DAO is a not-for-profit community organization focused on protocol governance, token dynamics, ecosystem support and administration, and also ecosystem-wide economic and policy decision making. Red Belly Network PTI Limited is a private company registered in Australia whose sole purpose is to focus on layer one development of the Red Belly protocol and enabling the widespread adoption of Red Belly blockchain technology in the real world. The foundation and the company collaborate from time to time on innovative projects and initiatives to accelerate and maximize the value to the wider Red Belly ecosystem. Whilst the Red Belly network is in its bootstrapping phase, governance functions will be performed by Red Belly Network PTI Limited until such time as the Red Belly Network Governance DAO has been developed and a governance transition plan as detailed in the roadmap has been completed. And since we're at the topic of their team now, anyways, let's have a further look at them. Their core team consists of six people with Vincent Gramoli being the founder and CTO and Alan Bird being their executive chairman. I'll also link a video to the channel of Protocol Labs where he can be seen talking about blockchain in the Red Belly Network. I highly encourage you to check it out as part of your own research. Because please keep in mind, I'm not a registered financial advisor. My videos are meant to be educational and entertaining only. I will never encourage you to invest money, but only try to inform you about the massive projects in the crypto space. Now the roadmap can be found on the website and I'll be sure to link it down below. Make sure to hit the like button if you feel that was convenient for you, because how else am I supposed to know that the things I do make sense to you? And if you'd like to learn more about crypto, please click that playlist right there. For now, my name is Rick Richen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Doei!